So in the last episode, we were able to set up our online users and we were able to log them at the console on the client. And in this episode, I just want us to take these online users and we'll show them on our UI. So the first thing that I'll do, I'll go at the top here where we had an interface called iSocket context and we will add the type for online users. Online users will be of type socket user this will be an array it can also be null once we do this our value right here will expect us add that particular online users so inside this particular object we'll say online users now these online users it's this one right here from our state so now or we can do is to go ahead and make use of this use socket and we'll be able to access these online users from any other component. I'll just go to the components and I'll add a new file. Uh, I can just add it at the root of our components and I'll say list online users.tsx status functional component list online users right here. We will return a div and the good thing now is that we can be able to access our online users by doing this const with this structure online users from use socket the custom hook that we defined and we initialize that we get our online users there another thing we can get the current user by saying const with this structure user from use user coming from crack next js and we can say that this particular component is a client component by adding the use client directive go ahead and save i'll use these curly brackets and i'll say do we have online users if we do we go ahead and say online users dot map here we will get an online user at a time and we will be able to return something now here I'll use curly brackets so that we perform a check there and then we will return here and let's return a div. This div is not being suggested. Okay, we return a div like that. This div will need to have a key and we'll set the key as our online user dot uh, user ID. I can start by just showing the name. So I'll have another div to get the name. I can say dot profile remember we have a profile then dot full name then dot split and i'll get the very first name by uh, splitting using the using space so here use these quotes and add a space so we split the name using the space like that and we get the first name so like this and uh, i'll save this component and i'll go to app then a page and right here instead of vidchat um i'll just include that particular component which is list online users just like that i save and see if we get a user here uh, which should be this user currently so we get one user which is this user uh, we can see ourselves in this case but as you can see we are able to get an online user um, I want us to style this and show an avatar and so on. Come to components, I'll add a new file and I'll say avatar.tsx status functional component and I'll say avatar. This avatar will receive an image SRC and right here it will return an image component from next image. This image component will be able to pass several stuffs. The SRC, which is SRC, an alt, and I'll say avatar, and we'll be able to have a class name, and I'll say rounded hyphen full. Then right here, I have a height for it of 40. I have a width for it of 40, just like that. So it's uh, around image so this complaints because we don't know this particular type but we can add it here so i'll use a full colon and then a bracket and i'll say slc can be an optional string then we will 
be able to return this particular image if src exists so right here perform a check if we have src that is when we will return this particular image component if we don't have src otherwise i will return a default avatar so i will return an icon from react icons and uh, i don't think we have installed react icons before so i'll just add another terminal and i'll say npm i react hyphen icons then here we will return an icon from react icons called far user circle it's a font awesome icon from react icons so this means font awesome we can now say far user circle that will be the default if we don't have an image by default so here I'll say size is 24 and that is an avatar component which we can use at our list online users component and before the name right here it's where i have the avatar just like that and it expects us to pass the src so right here i'll say src and i get the image our online user then dot profile then dot image url then we import this component and i save so right here we get an error once i refresh we get an error and that is because we haven't added these in next uh, config js so what we need to do is to go to next config and uh, there is a new way of adding the domain from where the image is coming from i can't actually remember that right now so i'll just use what i can remember although it will give you a warning that this is duplicated so at next config i'll add this object and i'll add images then domains and i'll add this particular domain the image is coming from that so i refresh there and let's see if it works so once our user loads we get these like this we have the name and the avatar so we are already showing the online user we just need to add some styles for example right here at the name i'll say class name and i'll say text is small then at the parent div that have the avatar and the name we'll actually position these at the center right now you can't notice because the name is short but it's not at the center in actual sense so right here i'll just say flex okay a class name first and then flex then we'll flex column and then i'll say items to be center and i'll add a gap of one and casa will be pointer i save and now these will be perfect tree at the center okay it came right here now i'll come to the parent div that have these online users right here and i'll add a class name and i'll say flex gap of four and i'll add a border to the bottom primary stroke 10 actually i don't need the gap here so i'll remove the gap i'll say with full and items to be at the center then padding at the bottom to be two okay what am i missing here border hyphen bottom and then we specify the color so i save again and there we go we have this now online and here we'll be able to list the different online users so we just perform a check here if our online user right here dot profile dot id is uh, the same as the user dot id there we return null that means that if it's ourselves we return nothing else we return that particular user and uh, by doing this if we don't have any online user we remain with this line uh, you can perform further checks at the top here uh, if you don't want to see that line but uh, i'll just let it be so i'll go ahead and save and right now we can be able to, to detect online users and show them on the ui uh, i think i can test this by opening another browser and logging in as a user 
so here i'll say localhost and as you can see once we go to this browser we are automatically logged in and right here this user was automatically added and we have the user right here now i logged with uh, an email and a password for this particular user and that is why we don't see the name for this user so this is working and i'll see you on the next one where we will handle clicking this user and once we click we will initiate a call to this particular user so they'll be able to see a notification right here that someone is calling